Hi ho! Let's play Dragon Force, part 61. Marauder EX here. Playing World Domination. And as you can see, refilling some of the troops, the generals that I've got, and attacking again. Cat is one of the starting generals for Gongos, so she gets a slightly special sprite. And she is the only Beastman general that comes with mages by default. She is... As a Beastman, she's combination spirit user and fighter. I think she gets she gets summon golem, and then I think she gets one of the cross abilities, either cross flash or cross rush. I forget what her last ability is. And I could be completely wrong, and it's been a very long time since I've, I've seen her leveled up that high. I'll have to check and see after I catch her what abilities she's got. Or... Nope, nope, captured. And I captured someone that she was capturing. Interesting. And in just a moment, I'm going to be attacked by the Ismo. After I deal with the Skull Tool. I'm kind of surprised they're still coming from that castle. I figured at this point they would have switched to another spawn point that's a little closer to where my monarch is been based for the last, you know, 20 episodes. And... One of them has Samurai, so Gig... Um, or not Gig... Vangel is not going to go against him. see how zombies do against beasts. Fairly sure zombies are going to do against beasts, but... Alright. Yes, I hope everyone thus far has been enjoying this Let's Play. This game is uh, very near and dear to my heart. It's uh, I, I got it kind of on a whim. There was a little hole in the wall video rental store. It wasn't one of the chains, and it was the only place that I ever seen that you could rent a variety of games. They had games for the PC, they had games for the Saturn, the PlayStation, the Nintendo 64, which, you know, at the time those were the ones that were out, but I'd never seen anyone have PC games. PC games seemed kind of like a liability to me. And I went and I rented Final Fantasy VII for the PC from them, because I didn't have a PlayStation at the time, and I wanted to play Final Fantasy VII. Well, they didn't have the installation disc, and I was so pissed off about it. It's like, how do you expect to play the game if you don't have the, the main installation disc? They just had the three gameplay discs. And as an apology, they're like, well, bring any game on us. What, what do you want? So I look at it, and they had Dragon Force. I'm like, oh, well, you know, I, I want to play a good RPG. And all I've got is a Saturn. I don't want to take the chance of getting anything else for the PC. And at the time, PC gaming was... I know people will argue with me about this, but PC gaming was quite lax. There was not much on the PC that you could really play. Uh, PC gaming had not developed into what it is now. I, I really think, you know, early 90s PC gaming kind of sucked. Had a bunch of first-person shooters, and that was about it. 
and uh, it still had a couple of the point and click trailing adventures from, from back in the day, but anyway. So, I see this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rent it. I rent it on a whim, and I, I fell in love with it. I'm sitting here playing, it's like, this game is epic on so many levels. Watching troops go forward and just, you know, kill each other and then kill the general. I was like, why can't I move my general? And then I, I realized that the general is not what you're actually trying to control, it's the troops. And then the general is, is just there for support, and it was a very dynamic system. So, I ended up spending a ridiculous amount of money buying it. Because, I mean, games for the Saturn, when they came out, were not cheap. I worked my ass off one summer just trying to save up enough money to where I could buy this game. And the second I could, I go out, I go to a Babbage's, which at that point, it was still a Babbage's. There might still be Babbage's around, but now they're, they're owned by, you know, GameStop, uh, EB Games sort of thing. But it was a Babbage's. And the guys in there knew me because I was the only person who came in and pre-ordered a couple of Sega Saturn games. So... I walk in, slap it down on the counter, buy it, and that weekend, I was up probably 48 hours solid. Like Friday, Saturday, I was up all day just playing this game, trying to learn the ins and outs. And that's it's been a good nine years ago. Give or take, something along those lines. Yeah, probably about a good nine years ago, if not longer. So I've been playing this game for a long time. And I'm really happy that I can do a Let's Play about it, because, you know, a lot of people like Let's Plays. And the, doing Let's Plays now has become one of my new favorite hobbies. I, I really love doing this. And I'm glad that I get to basically play games and add commentary and bring it out there for, for everyone to enjoy. And I hope you all are enjoying it, which is the, the ultimate thing of what I'm trying to get get out. So I hope you're all enjoying this. It's a great game. I hope I'm entertaining enough along with the game to, to keep your attention focused on it. Because I, I think of myself as a fairly humorous individual. And when you've got a fairly humorous individual playing in a really good game with a good story, even though the story is kind of meshed together, but you get what I'm trying to say, people. You understand. I know you understand. I'm not that crazy. Well, yes, I am that crazy. So yes. I hope you enjoy it. I know I am. I love doing this. I'm having so much fun doing Let's Plays. I'm having so much fun playing this game again. Uh, it is one of my traditions to sit down and play this game once every couple of years, just all the way through. This is my playthrough for now, and I'm sharing it with everyone. Most of the time, my friends, I'll have a couple of friends sit here and watch me play it for a little while, and then we'll we'll move on to something else. But now, anyone can watch it and watch it all the way through, and not just catch bits and pieces of it and wonder what the hell I've done since the last time they saw it. And this playthrough for me, I'm fairly lucky, this playthrough has been a lot easier for me than previous playthroughs. I haven't been as successful with items, but everything else I've been more successful with. I've had a few more retreats and losses than I, I would like to. But I've never had a perfect run, so. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I will see you all in our next installment. Later.